The results are in. By the way, we found a really cool angle in our studio and it makes everything feel more serious and personal. So let's talk about a serious topic like wind. We get a lot of questions about how much wind can a tent take and are there things we can do to make it stronger? The answer, a lot. And yes, let's get into it. We have four options when it comes to wind. Option one, the standard steel leg and outriggers. The vertical steel leg goes from the roof frame down to your decking. The outrigger is the pipe that goes from the base of that vertical leg to the end of the eave, making a triangle shape, AKA strong bracing. This option has a wind speed rating of 75 kilometers an hour and a survival speed of 85 kilometers an hour, or a wind speed of 46 to 53 miles per hour. Option two, increase the wall thickness of the legs. This is where we'll increase the side wall thickness of the steel leg. By increasing the wall thickness of the pipe, we'll increase the wind speed to 100 kilometers an hour to 114 kilometers an hour or 63 to 71 miles per hour. Option three, wood pole, ring beam, and a small outrigger. Vertical and horizontal wood poles make for a strong structure. And when adding a small outrigger to it, it increases the wind rating to 136 to 155 kilometers an hour or 85 to 97 miles per hour. Option four, increasing the frame thickness from 49 millimeters to 60 millimeters and using wood pole, ring beam, and the little outrigger from option three. The thicker frame combined with option three will give you a wind speed rating of 180 to 205 kilometers an hour or 113 to 128 miles per hour. When dealing with wind, there are a few things to take in consideration. As the wind kicks up, the tents will be able to handle it, but flying debris in the air may damage your tent if they collide with it. Flying debris are more risky in windy conditions than the wind is itself. It's also important to plan ahead. If a strong storm is planning coming through your area that exceeds the wind rating of your tent, it's best to take your tent down early. In very windy conditions, it'll be nearly impossible to take your tent down. As you undo the flies or drop the canvas body in a seriously windy day, it could act as a parachute and fly you around your property, or you run the risk of your tent being swept away. This is a, just a quick rundown of the wind ratings in our tents. So if you need an exclusive tent for a windy area, please reach out to us and let's talk in more detail. If you like our new content, be sure to like it, follow us on social medias, and we have another video coming out very soon, and it's going to be a little different. You'll see. I'll catch you guys in the next one.